Good morning, my Scorpios. Happy Wednesday, happy water sign day, you king of cups, you. Um, yeah, today is the last day of uh, Virgo season, it is. And tomorrow we enter a Libra season. I can't believe, I can't believe it. it's going so fast, this year's going fast. Scorpio's like, who cares, it's almost my season. It is, it's almost your birthday season. Um, so yeah, today in the Northern Hemisphere, it's the last day of summer and we, we welcome the fall equinox, at least I know I do on this beautiful, rainy, chilly morning. Um, yeah, I, I know I'm ready for fall, but yeah. Um, so yeah, last day of Virgo season. Hope it was a good season for you guys. I think Virgo season was all about getting shit real, getting, getting clear on what your goals are, starting to implement them. Um, and speaking of the first thing I thought, by the way, this is, um, I don't say tarot the mystical moments it is not this is ethereal visions tarot deck and this is the golden art nouveau tarot deck the decks i'm using this week and by the way the links can be found down below if you want to take a closer look but i got a four of wands and a page of pentacles you know what the first thing that popped in my head for some of you not definitely not for all scorpios i feel like this is going to be an offer to move in with someone with a page of pentacles here and a four of wands and some of you i really feel like you're going to get serious about buying a house something something around that but yeah um i just wanted to jump into that before because it was so prominent in my my energy to say that to you but yeah scorpio thank you for watching subscribing liking commenting it all adds up it all adds up and i can't appreciate and say thank you enough to you guys and if you're new to the channel and feeling the vibe please feel free to like and subscribe does somebody in the comments a couple weeks ago said this looks like a Virgo mug. So we say goodbye to our Virgo season. Not the mug though, I love it. Manifesting my best life. And I really hope you guys are manifesting your best life because you know what? I would say you only have one life. At least you have one life in this fleshy body. So make the best of it, you know? Make the best of it by making it the best life. Trying to tap out the potential of who you can be and what you can do. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I don't know where why I got into all of that. All right, Scorpios, four of wands, page of pentacles. And before I forget, also Fridays, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time is a live energy check-in to see what new is coming in for you. Look at that four swords, Libra and energy. Um, some of you are going to enter. You know, what is that expression? In like a... It's like sleep, going in, sleeping, going out, roaring, like in like a line, sleeping and coming out of the season, roaring. You're going to go into the Libra season as a four of swords, kind of like, yeah, whatever. But as you go out, some of you, if you were in a connection, well, just watch by the end of Libra season, it's like you might be changing addresses one way or another. Big moves going on here. All right. So let's see what's going on for our Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. If you are a Scorpio, know a Scorpio, feel like Venus, Scorpio. Well, Scorpios, I'm so glad you're here. You could be a Scorpio and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Scorpio and it can resonate as the main story. This reading could be for you, Scorpio, um, or it could be about you. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes for my beautiful Scorpios. Wow, hey, that rhymes. I got mad rhymes this morning. All right, Scorpio, one more around the block, one more time around the sun. All right, it's general energy for my Scorpios. General energy for my Scorpios. Collect the messages. What are the collect the messages for the Scorpios? Collect the messages for the Scorpios. Collect the messages for the Scorpios. Collect the messages. It is the artist's reverse. Interesting. In this deck, there's two extra major arcana, the artist and the well. Artist reverse, feeling a lack of connected to the self is what I get. Artist reverses talks about your purpose, about why are you put on this earth? What are you meant to do? It could be a lack of creativity. It could be somebody settling in life, not doing what they want to do, but you doing what you have to do, you know, trying to get the needs met, but not really the desires and the wants. What's influencing the artist reverse? What's influencing the artist reverse? What's interest? And some of you need to get back into painting, get back into writing, get back into music, get in, tap into the creative aspect, which is to me, and tarot is the cups. And I, I'm looking at the three of cups. There's a new friendship group. There's a new tribe you need to find. But I think it, it, it goes through the avenue of tapping into the, the cup side of you. Everybody's got it. Doesn't matter if you're an earth sign, water sign, fire sign. Everybody's got a creative aspect or 
or where they operate from. It's your emotions. It's about being emotionally connected to something. Look at that. Yeah, six of cups reversed and a three of cups. And I feel like it's 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 wanting to to find a tribe that who really have your back people who are really really there for you and i don't really feel like this is a blood relation i feel like this is just a friendship group a work group it's it's just something new i think you're really craving here what's influencing the artist reverse what's influencing the artist reverse what's influencing the artist reverse and remember i said manifesting your best life and I get masterpiece with that. And it, you, it doesn't mean you have to paint something, but what is your masterpiece, Scorpio? What is it that you put, were put on this earth to create? I don't think you only get one, but you have to at least start one before you, you tackle the second. And so what is your masterpiece? What do you wanna leave behind? Is this, I, I wonder if these are the questions you're even asking yourself. What, is, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you wanna be remembered for? Are some of you going to be remembered at all? You know, and I just feel like it's it's these big things you might be thinking about. What's influencing the artist reverse? What's influencing the artist reverse for the Scorpios? What's influencing the artist reverse? And it's the death reverse. It's your card. It's fundamentally going against who you are. Change, not allowing a change to happen, but yet craving it at the same time. I want this relationship, but I have trust issues. I want to start this business, but I don't want to leave this to do this. I want to move, but I don't, I, I'm afraid what my, my parents might think. I want this relationship, but what will this society think? I want to be, I want to be me. Some, some people want to be, they, it might be a same sex relationship, but they might be hiding in a, in something else. But, you know, it's, it's a, it's, it's kind of an uncomfortable, how do I say? I have so many thoughts trying to come out my mouth at the same time. Whatever you're holding on to, it's actually keeping you from your true self with the artist reverse. Queen of Swords reverse and the Nine of Wands reverse is let the control go. I might be talking to someone who likes control. I said it. I'm not taking it back. Nine of Wands reverse. I feel what I like about the Nine of Wands reverse, it doesn't get talked. I say this as if I watch tarot readings. When I used to watch tarot readings, I don't think it got talked about, but that's been years. So the Nine of Wands upright is yes it's a card of not giving up but what is he not giving up exactly probably something he needs to give up because the dude has got a bandage on him dude or dudette over here he's he's holding on to pain he's holding on to um expectations he's holding on to attachments he's you know expectations are the pain in the ass of life because the expectations in life keep you from your abundance. Because if you expect something to go a certain way and it doesn't go your way, then you can get stuck in this way of thinking that keeps you from your true ass self, which is the magician here. And I love, it's a sideways infinity. I am a Virgo, this is Virgo. I always wear a sideways infinity around and gold around my neck. It's important to tap into your limitless potential, believe anything is possible. And you tap into that, and there's nothing you can't do over here. But I feel like this is at the precipice for a Scorpio. Whatever it is that you need to adopt, who you really are, allow yourself to be that. Some of you are holding on to a dead-end job or dead-end relationship or being even if you're completely single and not even working into that. There's an old paradigm that needs to be let go of here. And I, what I'm going back to this, what I like is Nine of Wands reverse is basically the Eight of Wands upright. Now this guy or girl's getting out of their own way. He's holding an Ace of Wands and guess what's behind him? An Eight of Wands. And what do Eight of Wands like to do? They like to shoot forward. They it's an energy. It's an energy out of this stuck energy. So yeah, and Queen of Swords reverse is it's time to change one's way of thinking. It's, it's, this, this is really self-limiting belief over here. And it could have stem from childhood and the way you were raised. And, you know, we just aren't those kind of people We're you know, you're just not a Rockefeller Scorpio. You're just not ever going to be that. Uh, sadly, some people are told this kind of things or they're just, they feel, they, they feel it somehow in their environment. This is breaking free of a standard that you put on yourself because somebody put on you. The standard it's like, what point did you stop believing that anything is possible? Because it can't be in childhood. Most kids want to be like astronauts. 
They, they, they may be afraid of heights, but darn it, they're going to go to the moon. It, it, that's the thinking we need to tap back into is the old belief. And that is where the magician and the seven of wands lies. So yeah. All right. Let's, so sorry. I got really sidetracked there. What's the reason for the reading, Scorpio? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading for the Scorpios? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? It is this, it's you, it's upright, but I feel it's with a new three of cups. Some of you, I'm, I'm telling you, you have a move. You have a move coming. What's in the past? Six of cups is happiness. It's about tapping into your childhood, into your memories, into who you are before life got in the way. It's about letting those dreams fly. It's about your true self coming out of this. What's in the past? What's in the past for the Scorpios? What's in the past for the Scorpios? It is the Seven of Cups. It's your card. This, I feel like this isn't just past Scorpio. This isn't just past Seven of Cups. This is the bitch of it. I feel like you thought one of these cups had to be the answer. One of these cups had my dreams. The other cup had a skull. The other cup had a snake. That's a typical Seven of Cups. Some had a dragon. Some had love. And you feel like if you pick the wrong, you make the wrong decision, everything's going to crumble. If you do the wrong relationship, if you say the wrong thing, some of you are afraid to even speak up for yourself because you're afraid of what people are going to say if you speak your mind. So you tend to stay quiet. It, the truth is, is every single one of those cups would, would lead to your destiny. It's not one cup is better than the other. It's about jumping into each of those cups. It's seven facets of your personality. It's seven facets of who you are. And it's accepting all of them. Yeah, you could be a bitch, but you could be a saint. You could be, it's, it's, it's a whole person in these cups. That's what I'm getting. It's your energy, six and a seven of cups. You're all over this in the death card. And the artist reverses even you because to me that is that's the cups all of this is your energy but i feel like you were talked out of your dreams talked out of something you wanted to do and maybe it's about going back to that relationship or going back to that connection some of you this could be a childhood friend and picking up the phone or running into them and it starts a chain uh, um uh whatever you call it <laughs> i was a chain link it starts a chain of events in order that, that I'm not getting that really for a full for for some I mean for somebody it might be the case but this is about digging deep it's time to dig deep it's time to get deep into your own waters and saying you know what I don't know at what point did I feel like I couldn't be me and that wasn't good enough and I, I, then I find myself in connections I'm not myself and then I'm mad I'm not getting those connections but the truth of it is it wasn't it wouldn't have been me in those connections anyway this is about owning who you are, loving who you are, flaws and all. And it's because of your flaws, I feel, that's really going to be your masterpiece. What you deem your flaws. It's, I mean, think of like, is it Picasso? Not Picasso. I'm not into the whole arts scene, but you know, who is it? Is it Jackson Pollock? Pollock? Where it's just splatters of paint? And that's art. But some people would say that's chaos. But isn't there beauty in chaos? Why do we try to hide our chaotic features and chaotic self when it really could be our best asset? It was his. What is on Scorpio's mind? What is on the Scorpio's mind? What is on the Scorpio's mind? What is on the Scorpio's mind? The sun. Happiness. I want this. This is just happiness. You know why? Because you're in the moment. Your true happiness is when you're being your true self. And that's when you're not trying to control shit. This is when you, you know, if you look at your best trips you've ever done, they could have been day trips. They could have been, they were things that weren't planned because you didn't have time to get in your own way. They were very spontaneous. So it would be somebody say, Hey, let's go out for lunch. And you're like, well, I really need to do this. Okay. I'll do it. And then you end up having the best day ever. But think of the things that you planned out to a T because you wanted to make sure it was a good time. And those could have been your worst vacations. This is about living in the moment embracing everything in today, not worried about yesterday because it's gone and not worried about tomorrow because it's not real yet, right? This is about being in the moment, being present and accepting who you are. And look at, I mean, to me, that that's amazing, that Leo energy. On your mind is happiness. On your mind is 
I mean, some of you need to realize you're actually here too. Yeah. All right. So what is in the near future? What is in the near future? Sorry, that's Harry the Capricorn. I don't know if you hear him. He's snoring at the top of the stairs behind the door. But he, I could tell he must have his nose under the door. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? <laughs> that dog, I swear, he wants to be on camera so bad. And he's somehow, some way going to be on camera. What's in the near future? What is in the near future? There it is. The, moving on. Wheel of Fortune. This, this is the big let go. I do feel a big majority that who are connecting to this reading, Scorpios, you're moving. You're going to be moving. You're moving jobs. You're moving relationships. You're moving addresses. Artist reverses because you, you, you weren't living your authentic self. You were living somebody else because deemed of what would be acceptable. This is embracing who you are, tapping back into those seven of cups and six of cups. Going back to the old memories of I can do anything, getting back into that magician power. Um, I say that with leaving something. Here it is, eight and ten of pentacles reverse. You're realizing that this, you just can't do this anymore. You can't, you can't be this version that people want you to be. You, you could only be the only version you were here to be. And Wheel of Fortune is a change. And there you are. There's the change of luck you've been looking for. Here's the offer, page of pentacles. Some of you, ooh and a full reverse, an offer you would have been afraid to take. Ace of Cups reverse is like the artist reverse right here in the center of the reading. Full reverse, afraid to take that cup, afraid to take, to leave whatever this is behind, but I feel like you are gonna take it. Okay, what is this artist reverse and the death reverse for the Scorpios? I can't believe how much of your energy is all over this reading. The artist reverse, which to me is the Ace of Cups, the, like a major card of an Ace of Cups, Artist Reverse and the Death Reverse. Artist Reverse and the Death Reverse here. Artist, can you imagine though going back to the Pollock thing? And I'm pretty sure it was Pollock that had, and there's probably other painters that do that with splots, you know, splotches of color. Can you imagine if he listened to Joe down the street and said, hey, that's, that's a garbage what, what what is that you're supposed to paint a dog and jackson probably tripped over some paint can stepped on something and said hey i really like this i'm gonna go put this up on my wall and then can you imagine how many people probably try to talk him out of that and look it's one of the most sought after his works you know don't let people talk you out of your dream scorpio what is the artist reverse and the death reverse i wonder if he's a scorpio for that to keep popping up in my head and i don't even know if i'm saying his name right what is, and it, you know where I'm getting it from is The Accountant. Have you guys ever seen The Accountant, which is an amazing movie? But isn't that a Jackson Pollock? And that's what he ends up giving her? I'm thinking with the oranges and stuff. All right, anyway, the artist reverse and the death reverse and the King of Wands. Our King of Cups is turning into Don Juan, the King of Wands. Yeah, I know, I, this, is, this is major, major manifesting time. This is resourcefulness. This is... It's not about your resources, it's about your resourcefulness. The most resourceful people are also the wealthiest people and the happiest people. Because they 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 just don't, they're not accepting, no. They don't, the King of Wands doesn't accept, no. And you know what else the King of Wands doesn't care about? He doesn't care about what you think and you think and you think. He only cares about what he thinks. Leo energy, and that's the sun. That is what's gonna get you to the, this. You want happiness, you better start not caring about what people think today. And you only need to care about what you think. If you like painting, then you paint. If you wanna be straight, then you be straight. You wanna be gay, you wanna be gay. If you wanna live here, then you go live here. It only matters what you think, Scorpio. All right, what's the Six of Cups reason for the reading? Six of Cups reason for the reading. It is Queen, Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, both Capricorn, by the way. Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands reverse, Four of Wands, the World, and the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Some of you, it could be stress about having to leave something behind. I feel job, I'll be honest. It feels more job than anything. Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Pentacles, both Capricorn. But you're going to have to, you could be dealing with somebody like this too. Queen of Pentacles reverse can be very all about themselves. Um, 
pay me first kind of energy. Some of you, a Capricorn actually might even be your North Node and it might be a fear to change. It might be a fear to go towards an earth sign, you know, um, mentality. It's just weird because Scorpio should be afraid to change. That is exactly who you are. But anyway, Queen of Pentacles reverses a card of anxiety. Two of Pentacles is about being open. And it's interesting because I say this a lot in my readings, the Two of Pentacles to me, the Two of Pentacles is probably one of the more mutable cards because there's so many major arcana all over this card. But the biggest major for me is a Wheel of Fortune upright. If, if the Two is upright, the Wheel should be upright. If the Two is reversed, the Wheel would be reversed because both of them talk about control. And I know that is very foreign to a Scorpio, a Scorpio who likes control. I know, I've never heard of such a thing. But this is about releasing control and what happens, happens kind of that that too is like the full energy which is very full like he doesn't care if he falls he's he's balancing on sand on one foot so this is also about being on the lighter side of life about not taking life so seriously because you know what and and everybody has to deal with when these waves rise are you going to let the emotions of life knock you down or are you going to find a way to swim through them and coast through them and surf and learn to surf through them and making lemonade out of lemons that's the two of pentacles. It's about being open to new experiences, not trying to control the ones that we're in and saying, you know what, whatever happens, happens. But I know one thing, I'm whatever I decide to do from here on out, it's I have to keep myself in mind, my own best interest. I'm not gonna sell myself short for other people anymore. So Queen of Pentacles reverse can be an anxiety about this, or you could be dealing with a cheap ass boss. You could be married to someone who's always about themselves. This is always about themselves kind of thing. Okay, what is the Seven of Cups in the past for Scorpio? Seven of Cups in the past for the Scorpios. And some of you, I mean, look at this, how they did this card. Some of you decided a long time ago that when you were trying to be yourself and trying to do what you wanted to do, you got into the cup and you got bit for it. Kind of like the strength card with the lion. And it kind of made you pull back and almost be afraid of your own energy or be afraid of anything's possible because you're like, sure, anything's possible. I got bit by something that wasn't, I didn't think was possible. And it made you so guarded. All right, what is the seven of cups? What is the Seven of Cups for the Scorpios in the past? Their energy? What is the Seven of Cups? Options galore. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. It is the Five of Cups. You look at you all over this reading. Again, that's what I thought. The last time you thought anything's possible, I ended up living in my car for three months. No, that's what that feels like. Whatever something happened, and it caused you to pull retract. It caused you to really retract. And I don't think this is... I think this is like childhood, teenage, adolescence, early 20s. Something caused you to retract and start being very careful. What is this five and seven of cups? Which, five plus seven is 12. Let's just say there is a 12 of cups. You break the 12 down and you got a three of cups. I said three of cups up here. For some reason, I'm thinking that there's a three up there. Um, yeah, with the sun. All right, what is the five and, yeah, nine of pentacles reversed. The last time you took a chance, you lost that business. You didn't get that relationship. People laughed at you. I just feel like this is the moment you pulled, retracted. What is the sun on Scorpio's mind? This is a long reading. Holy cow, for a weekly read. Apologize, Scorpio. What is the sun, Leo energy, on your mind? What is the sun on Scorpio's mind? It is the ace of wands reverse. Interesting, Leo energy again. Maybe a Leo hurts you. It shit happens, Scorpio. <laughs> that sounded so rude. Life happens. Let's put it that way. Life happens. But you don't back up from life. You That would be Scorpio energy and say, how can I transform this? How can, that's a Scorpio, taking lemons and making lemonade, right? If somebody cheated on you, well, it just opens you up to a better possibility. You, that person probably would have been a shitty ass husband or wife or parent. You know what? Thank you. It's it's all about a perspective. Ace of Wands reverse into the sun. I feel like the ace is just delayed though. I honestly, I feel, honestly, some of you dodged a big ass bullet. Ace of Wands reverse. Something was taken from you, and you could have thought it was your worst day ever, and ends up leading to your best life ever. What is the sun on Scorpio's mind? What is the sun on Scorpio's mind? 
nine of wands reverse yes it is you were holding on to that crappy relationship they were probably taking advantage of you they were keeping you from where you needed to be and it wasn't happy based on his head he's all bandaged up but when that ace of wands oh think look at it this way when that person left your life it's the ace of wands keeping this person back that relationship kept you back that job kept you back if they let you go, you better thank them because where you're going to go is, is way beyond your wildest dreams. This Ace of Wands is what he's holding on to as an Ace of Wands. But when he no longer has it to hold on to, he starts to walk away. And now his energy is going to shoot forward. It's going to be where he always was supposed to go. Now this Nine of Wands is really an Ace of Wands or Eight of Wands. I'm sorry. So yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands reverse and a Nine of Wands reverse. It actually did you a favor. That cheater did you a favor. That cheapskate, if this was a boss, did you a favor. What is the wheel of fortune in the near future? And now the wheel starts to turn, the luck is turning, the tables are turning, and Scorpio, I feel then the death card comes up upright and the artist goes upright. Not having that job, maybe you will paint your masterpiece in this meantime, and maybe you'll find you really are an artist, you really are a writer. Um, you really are a musician. You really should have been doing this other profession. Some of you are cooks, going from law, for instance. What is this Wheel of Fortune in the near future? Wheel of Fortune in the near future for the Scorpios. Hermit reverse. This is a huge major arcana as we close up Virgo season, and this is a Virgo major arcana. Whatever you just re whatever you need to retreat from, because hermit reverse can mean to pull yourself away from, that is where you're going to find your wish fulfillment. See how he's in this time of retreating, he gets to really focus on whatever this artist reverses, whatever this death, by le losing something, you're really going to find what you've been needing all along. That's what I feel with that wheel of fortune. Empress, look at the empress. Oh my gosh. And they're together. I say this a lot, but how often do I ever see them back to back? This empress always reminds me of the feminine energy of the magician. You know why? Just like how a two of pentacles is mutable with the wheel of fortune. That, that's how these two are. There's so many aspects of them, but what they have in common is charisma. They can pull opportunities toward them by this high vibrational shit. They, they don't chase anything. They realize a good fisherman has some really good ass bait and they do their research with the hermit and they put themselves in a great position and then put their pole in the water and the fish come to them. It's about being an alchemist. It's about pulling energy towards you, not chasing energy because in this world, in this life, whatever you chase tends to run away. You want to chase your dreams? You better, you better be Carl Lewis and, and, you know, try to catch up because it's just going to keep going away from you. But if you really want what you want, you sit and you learn to pull it towards you. You want that relationship? You pull it towards you. You want that career? You want that opportunity? You pull it towards you by raising your vibration. And this is where preparation meets opportunity. And that is what luck is. It's not a big man knocking on your door and saying, here's a million dollars. It's because you've been preparing this for your own life, your whole life. And whoever let you go just now gave you the opportunity so to tap into what you've been needing to do all along. And there you are, magician and the empress. That's times two right here. Huge alchemist, huge magician. You want a company, if you start a business, it's probably going to turn into like a multi-million dollar company. You want that relationship? This is where you're going to get the, the pick of the litter. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So whatever let you go, whatever treated you like shit, you just say thank you because it gave you time to reflect what needs to come back out of you. And there it is. All right, my Scorpios, I will end this. It was so long. I apologize. Have a great rest of your week. And if you want to join me on Friday morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, please do. We'll see what new is coming in for you. All right, guys. Love you. Take care.